week one, day five. Uh, just like the previous four days, everything's been going pretty well. Um, I did notice I was slightly more hungrier today. Maybe that was because I was just doing more housework. I was taking down some of the Christmas decorations, moving some heavy boxes. Uh, so I think that's probably why I was just feeling a little bit more hungrier today. But um, strength is still the same. Felt really good in my workout this morning. So no problems at that front. Uh, my ketones using uh, my breath ketone analyzer have been higher the past few days, about twice as high as what they've been the past several months in my bulk phase. So that shows that my body is burning more fat. Um, and the number on the scale has gone down a, a little bit. Uh, this Sunday I'll post on uh, my Instagram account. I had, uh, you can check that out at the Ketoverse. Um, and that's where I'm posting all my pictures and just really showcasing uh, all my markers for this cut. Um, today, also January 5th, is National Keto Day. And my keto journey began uh, several years ago, about four years ago. And I've pretty much have not looked back. Every now and then I've had some carbs with family, like for things like Thanksgiving or uh, for birthdays. Um, but I haven't pretty much deviated from keto. Uh, I do feel better when I am eating a higher fat um, than a lower fat, higher protein. I've kind of dabbled with both, uh, but I do prefer the higher fat. Uh, if you are thinking of doing keto, there are tons of resources out there. Um, some guys that you can follow, Thomas DeLauer, uh, he, he's like the number one guy, um, just puts out great content, phenomenal dude. Um, the ketologist, Chris Irvin is his name, but he goes by the ketologist on Instagram. He uh, has done a bunch of stuff. Uh, both he, Chris Irvin, and uh, Dr. Anthony Gustin collaborated and created a keto book called The Keto Answers. Um, it's a wonderful book and just really outlines everything that you need to know and do uh, to follow a keto lifestyle. Um, and then if you do start keto, if you've never been low carb before in your life, you've ate the standard American diet or you've ate heart, high carb before, um, some tips. You need to be on keto for, I recommend, at least three to four, preferably six months. And you have to be really hardcore. Like you can't be a couple of weeks in and go, oh, I can have a piece of pizza or I can have a couple of scoops of ice cream because you're trying to turn over all of the machinery in your body. Your mitochondria, which are the powerhouse of our cells, we have trillions of mitochondria in our body. If you've been primarily feeding um, yourself carbs and eating a high carbohydrate diet, then those mitochondria function better using those carbs. And there is some turnover, getting them to then use fats as a fuel source. And that's why I recommend three to four strict months, preferably at least six strict months. Um, and then that way you can turn over all those mitochondria because the mitochondria have about a week and a half to two week life and then they replicate and then they die off. And it takes about two to three cycles of them doing that, that uh, one and a half to two weeks. So that's why I recommend the three to four months because by then those new mitochondria are used to using those new fats as a fuel source. Uh, another thing people within the first week experience is something called the keto flu. You can Google it. Pretty much all that is is when you first start keto, your insulin levels drop. And as your insulin levels are dropping, your body is excreting all excess water weight that you don't need. So a lot of people lose a lot of weight really quickly. Like they'll drop 10, 15, even 20 pounds in the first week to two weeks. And that most of that is water weight. Um, and insulin, which is a hormone that your pancreas produces to send a signal to your cells to open the cell up so then that way the cell can take in that sugar the glucose in your bloodstream uh, and so when those insulin levels are dropping then your body is excreting all this excess water but with that water you're also peeing out your electrolytes so your sodium your magnesium your potassium so a lot of people experience this keto flu and all that is is you are um, losing those electrolytes so you can have headaches, brain fog, feeling just very weak out of it, um, even some cases uh, nausea. What I recommend is take electrolytes. Um, there's a brand out there called Element, L-M-N-T. 
they have electrolyte pouches that you can uh, put into water. Um, it's a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and then 40 milligrams of magnesium. Uh, those are the packets that I use, but that's one way to get those electrolytes in. You could also just plain old salt, um, not table salt though. I recommend uh, pink Himalayan salt. Um, there's a company called Redmond Real Salt that's wonderful. You can find all these at just any standard grocery store. Um, and just take a handful of salt or a teaspoon of salt, throw it in some water, throw it on your food, and you'll notice that your energy levels will come back, the headaches will go away, and you'll, you'll feel better. So that's my recommendation if you are ever experiencing any symptoms like the keto flu. So happy National Keto Day to all you out there. Please make sure to like and subscribe and follow along as I go through this uh, ketogenic bodybuilding cut over the next 26 weeks and for fun uh, nutrition and health tips. So keep it locked in. Put anything in the comment if you have any questions about uh, if you're starting a keto diet. Uh, if you want to see me put out a video just outlining a, a meal plan or just uh, how like a how-to video how to get started on keto and I'd be more than happy to do that. So thanks for viewing and checking in and see you guys tomorrow.